Hi guys, so this is going to be for Aquarius. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is going to be for the next 48 until Wednesday the 4th of November. I hope you're doing fantastic. Let's see what the energies are coming in for the sign of Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides, what are the messages coming in for Aquarius? What do they need to see or acknowledge? What do they need to see or acknowledge for Aquarius? Okay, I'm going to try cutting it. Eight of Pentacles. Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. The energy of Virgo. Focusing on the details, scrutinizing, looking over contracts, working very hard. Learning something new. Focusing on earning money. Wow, two of cups. There's love here. There's harmony between you and another person. Feelings are mutual. There's love. There's a, a partnership. Ace of Wands. Wow. So there's a spark. There's excitement between you. Seven of Pentacles. Evaluating, thinking about what to do next. Like, how do I move forward? What do I do? There could be issues to do with money. Six of Wands in the past. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius returning. Ooh. So some of you could be dealing with any earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And you feel like maybe somebody returned who you have a connection with. And it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow. Ten of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Page of Swords. Three of Wands. Aries energy. Somebody who's very self-motivated. Somebody who's very energetic. You're dealing with a person who's very loyal and very practical and down to earth and they'll wait for you they're always there for you the other person is more self-motivated they're more self-centered in a way where they're more about themselves and their career ace of swords you get new communication new information so you're overcoming a fear, feeling of ruin though, like you feel depressed. You feel very sad and depressed and ruined and just awful. So it's almost like there could be childishness, arguing, petty arguments going on, page of pentacles, page of swords. Temperance, it could be any Sagittarius or you need to temper your emotions, find a balance. King of Coin, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and the Empress, somebody who represents great abundance and someone who represents love, everything that is about love and abundance to you. The World card, Seven of Wands, Sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody is standing their ground, standing up for themselves. They feel criticized. Um, sun card comes out here. Great success. You achieve a goal by not backing down. Okay, so your emotions feel like walking away. Wow, because there's lovers. There could be new love here, a new union, an alliance. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Wow. Ace of Pentacles and a Ten. So there's an offer of a commitment. This could also be money, too. But, okay, Queen of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could also be about money. But what is Ten of Swords? The ending of a hard time, but it that's hard. What is Ten of Swords? It's like betrayal. There's a King of Cups here. Okay, so there's somebody here who wants to offer you love. They want to be compassionate and reach out to you. What is the Page of Pentacles? You could be getting good news about money too. What is the Page of Pentacles? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody younger in their 20s. Maybe early 30s. Someone with not a lot of experience. Ten of Cups. The full happily ever after here. So it could be money. It could be a person. Strong earth energy is coming in. You're feeling like walking away from a hard or difficult situation. Um, what is the Ace of Swords about? What is the Ace of Swords about? What is the Ace of Swords? Whoa. Okay, so there's someone here who disappointed you. You get the truth about that. I think you take action. It could have been... There's a Page of Pentacles that comes in, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And King of Swords, you make a decision. You make a strong decision about a situation um, where you feel very defeated and your emotions feel like you're, you're unfulfilled. Okay, so there's the lovers coming in. What is the lovers about? What is the lovers about here? Why are we getting the lovers for Aquarius? What is the lovers? What is the lovers? There it is. Ten of Swords. Walking away towards something new. Two of Swords. Feeling confused. Okay. So it's a Page of Cups. There's a new offer of love and Six of Swords. You're moving on out of the storm. Okay. What is the King of Swords energy for Aquarius? Okay, justice is served. Balance, the sword and the scales. So justice is coming in. It could be a divorce. But I feel like it's just balance. You're getting a situation is made fair. What is the seven of... What is the sun? What is the sun? What is the sun? Seven of Pentacles. Could be something financial that you've been waiting for because there's a lot of money ace a ten and a queen of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so fortune's wheel starts to turn it did come in the reverse so with the seven of pentacles it could mean that your luck is about to change if you feel like your situation and it's not serving you. It's about to get much better. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Wands. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And a Knight. Wow, there's two. There's two Knights. Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. The Moon. Uncertainty or things that are hidden. Deep feelings. And the Eight of Pentacles. This could be a work situation too. High Priestess and Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you could be moving. So things get much better. They balance out. I mean, there's a Seven of Swords coming out. But there's a Page of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. The Happily Ever After. And that could be about money too. Good news about money. Ask for what you really want. 
Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others helps you avoid a misunderstanding. Mother Mary is helping you with your divine life life purpose. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and take care.